Hi everyone, welcome back to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I know it's been a while, right? A long time. Anyways, I got a treat and I want to do a taste test. It is from a company called Marigold. And what I'm going to do is um, just take a bite of, I guess, a piece of everything for you. Some of these flavors I'm not a fan of. I'll let you know as I go. Um, so we have fat bombs and we have some protein bars. And then the last item is gonna be some protein coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that in the description below is a 10% coupon code for your first purchase. So make sure to check that out. And share, like, subscribe. All right, let's get started. My first one is gonna be cookie dough. So this says that it has, well right on the front, 20 grams of protein, six net carbs, and four grams of sugar. Obviously it's not completely keto, right? But it is low carb. So if you're in a pinch, these are a great snack. And um, let's see, they do, I wrote some stuff down, sorry. I'm getting older and I just can't remember everything. So it's low sugar, 100% grass fed products. I mean, 100% grass fed. <laughs> Gluten free, lactose free, and they use organic and non GMO products. Okay, so, I'm kind of nervous to taste this. <sighs> and he likes this recording me and laughing at me. It'll be good. It's kind of hard because I had it in the fridge. Why did you put it in the fridge? It said to refrigerate it. Oh, it looks like a type of cookie dough. Okay. So. Oh, you think you can make cookies out of them? No, it's a protein bar. Here's a close up of what it looks like. Forgive my orange nails. <laughs> I was experimenting. All right, let's go. <laughs> cookie dough. That is actually really good. Does it tastes like cookie dough. Let me try mm -hmm. it. It looks like cookie dough. It actually is good. It's like thick. And I've never Ooh. had... Ooh! It's good, right? Mm. For a protein bar? What? It's pretty good. Every protein bar I've had sucks. You can't even tell that it's like so a protein bar. So normally when I eat a protein bar, and you guys can comment below, let me know how it is for you. But mm. for me, normally my mouth is like really dry and the product is like chalky. I don't have that with this. It's like chewy. And the dark chocolate, that's good. It's actually really good. Look, Elijah likes it. He's not keto or low carb. <laughs> Next. Okay. That's good, good. I have napkins here in case I don't like what I taste, so <laughs> this is a real taste test. That one is a winner for me. I, I would definitely buy that again. Fresh, clean, and tasty. This is the Cinnabon. Cinnabon? <laughs> you see it up there? Ah, it's like a, mm -hmm. like a um, German thing, maybe? It's 23 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of sugar. Again, you know, our, uh, the keto police, please don't, don't, don't leave me nasty comments. <laughs> this is for people who are doing low carb or starting the diet to, or a treat once in a while, you know. It's not really high in carbs or sugar, so take it, it as you And it tastes good. Oh, that smells really cinnamon -y. Let me take a smaller bite only because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like it. Hmm. What does it taste like? A Cinnabon or just really cinnamon? Yeah. Really? Exactly. That's the name of it. Let me try it. Here's this piece. It actually reminded me of a cinnamon. Ooh. Cinnabon. cinnabon. Mm. Right? It's not too strong. Mm -mm. Hmm. That would be good with some coffee. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's not bad. All right. All right, better gold. I'm impressed so far. This is pretty cool. Now, I will tell you about this one. Mm. I did the pop on my tongue. <laughs> yeah. 
I've been doing that. My husband says every time, ever since I turned 40, that I <laughs> You didn't have to tell everybody. <laughs> well, people can tell me, right? Well, this is chocolate mint. I'm not a fan. I love mint chocolate, though. Now, I used to eat the, the Girl Scout cookies that were the chocolate mint, and those were like bomb. What would the mint... Something. They're like round. I know what you're talking mint. about. I forget what the name is though. It's something funny. Something, I think they were just chocolate mint. Um, mm. So 20 grams of protein for this one. Um, two net carbs and one sugar. Mm. Um, maybe because I'm old, but that stuff stuck to my teeth. It got stuck to my tooth. Oh, okay, then it's not because I'm old. Mm. <laughs> Let me try this one. I think you putting them in the fridge was a good idea because it would have been like Ooh, I can smell the mint yeah woo, woo. wow that's strong I don't know if I'm gonna let me give cut me a little piece here you try that one. Ooh, that smells so good I don't like chocolate mint like that it's gonna mess up my palate mm. remind me of a peppermint patty Mm. What do you think? Stick it to my teeth. <laughs> it tastes like um, the Hagen Dazs mint chocolate chips, like the actual chocolate chips. That's what it tastes like. Mm. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's actually not bad, and it's not my favorite um, flavor and things, but mm. not bad, guys. Mm -mm. I'm gonna That's take a not quick bad break, at all. Clean my mouth, <laughs> and then we'll try the fat bombs. So we just finished tasting the protein bars. Don't forget to check out the uh, coupon code below to get your 10% off on your first purchase, okay? I don't get any money from this. This is solely me testing it out. They reached out to me, they're like, hey, tell you people about it, try it out, give us your honest opinion. That's my honest opinion. Hey, I haven't spit anything out yet, so that's good, right? <laughs> All right, the next thing we're gonna try are the fat bombs. Now you know when you're doing a keto diet, Fat bombs are the bomb because they hold you over. Like your hunger, you curve, um, it curves your appetite. And it reduces your your sweet tooth, your cravings, right? So in here we have chocolate chip cookie dough, mint Ooh. chocolate chip, mint chocolate chip again, uh -huh. uh, Danish butter cookie, chocolate pecan crisp, hmm. and lemon coconut. Right. What does the package look like? Well, this is the packaging. Oh, it's like, um... They're individually wrapped in here. So how Ooh. do I know what's what? Hey! It has oh. the name. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so here's the mint chocolate chip. And all the, um... All the details of each one is on here. So I'm going to keep this next to me so I could let you know what, what we're doing. Danish butter cookie. What is that smell? That smells good. Lemon coconut. We're gonna go in order. Lemon coconut? Mm -hmm. So this one is first. Chocolate chip. Nope. <laughs> this goes here. Cookie dough. Cookie dough's first. Chocolate chip cookie dough. And then mint chocolate food. Okay. I have water too. Because are you gonna try these with me? Yeah. Okay. So this is the 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 ultimate fat pack. These are taste testers edition. So you're not your packaging probably won't look like this. Oh, this is like a it's like a sample pack yeah. for you to try everything. It smells like a protein bar to me, but it's supposed to be a fat bar, so let's see. Oh, dang! The chocolate chip. Let me do this one here. Okay. Here's yours. Here's mine. Oh. Cheers. Yeah. Alright, let's go. It's a lot softer than the protein bar. It's sweeter. Oh, yeah, I like the texture on that better than the other one because this one's not chewy. Not so chewy like the protein bar. Mm. Ah. I'm sure you could warm this up and it'll be a nice warm cookie. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that tastes like an actual egg. Yeah. So it's 15 grams of fat, less than one net carb, and less than half a gram of sugar. 
And that's shocking, right? Because it actually tastes... It tastes really sweet. Not like sweet to the point where it's like unbearable, but mm -hmm. it's pretty good. It's just right. Mm. That's good. Not bad. All right, better go. Ooh, Lots and the aftertaste is not like all... It's not bad. Mm -mm. Even the sugar, like that. Usually, like for those of you who started doing stevia on your low-carb diet or keto diet, you get that aftertaste. Yeah. Give yourself some time. Your taste buds need to adjust because after about a week or two, <coughs> your taste buds adjust and you're not, you won't have that um, aftertaste. Is it the mint one? <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for y'all. Well, if if it's sweeter, I'm hoping that it'll. I don't the want other one as was much sweeter. Of this one here, you try. That. I'm gonna get a smaller piece. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. You can tell it's more grainy because of the mm -hmm. when you cut it. Mm. Again, the texture is not chewy. Exactly. So, oh, look, I didn't show you the other one. Sorry. So here's the chocolate chip cookie dough, and this is the mint. Ooh, that focus though. Cool. I think the bar tastes better for the mint one. The protein bar tastes yeah. better, right? Yeah. You don't like it. Okay. Like the mint is very strong with that one. It is very strong. <laughs> right, so, told you guys, it's not my favorite. It's not that it's bad. It's just really not my favorite. It's Elijah's favorite flavor. Oh. But he don't like it. Okay, so 11 grams of fat, one net carb, and half a gram of sugar for the mint chocolate chip. And I need water. Lucky. Oh, you got your, your little seltzer water? Yeah, here. You can put some of that. Oh, yeah. All right. Next is a Danish butter cookie that has 15 grams of fat, less than one net carb, and less than a gram of sugar. Danish butter cookie fat bomb. That one sounds like it'll be good. Sounds good. Hopefully it's buttery. Let's see. All right. This is what it looks like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I still didn't have used to figure. <laughs> I want to show the inside. It looks like um like a Nature it's... Valley bar. Oh, okay. It's kind of um, you know, the fat on it. You want to try this one? Yeah, but you eat it first. I'm getting full. How are you getting full? <laughs> hmm. Is it buttery? Mm. It has coconut. Oh, really? All right, let me try it. I don't like coconut like that, though. It's very little. It's actually not bad. I gave you this. <laughs> it's crumbly, you see? Can you focus in on that on the plate? Watch. Ugh. I'm yeah, going sideways, right you know? on the plate, look. Because when I go like this, it crumbles. Ah, uh, that tastes... That actually tastes not... That, oh, yeah. It tastes good. That one's good. Mm. Again, 15 grams of fat, less than a net carb, and less than <coughs> a gram of sugar. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the coconut in there, too. All right, the next one is a chocolate pecan crisp, and it has 16 grams of fat, one net carb, and one gram of sugar. Let me move the... This one looks strange. I think they can make like a really good um, key lime pie flavor. Probably. You that heard that, Marigold? <laughs> Take a look at that inside of that one. Oh, it looks like peanut brittle. So it has pecan, so that's what you see there. Oh. Mm -hmm. This one has grass fed ghee in it too. You know what ghee is, Elijah? No. It's, it's like a clarified butter. Hmm. So they use um, grass fed butter. Oh, you, I was about to zoom in on it. <laughs> What's this one? Pecan? Pecan. Chocolate pecan crisp. Oh, those are the crisp in there. So it went up my nose. <laughs> chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's okay. 
It's very light. Very light. Okay. That one's not bad because it's not too um overpowering, right? Right. There's coconut in this one too. Oh, and the the last one has coconut mm -hmm. too. Lemon coconut. The last one is lemon coconut. Just a pipe bomb. Oh, I thought this said pipe bomb. Look at this fat bomb. <laughs> um grass fed collagen. Okay. And this one has coconut because it's lemon coconut. How do you feed collagen grass? <laughs> I'm see, like, so serious. collagen the one I drink in my coffee is from bovine so oh, so. <coughs> so it's like a um like a plant or a bovine that's like um, like a cow I think <laughs> it's over that looks that looks like a blondie you ever had a blondie yeah white brownie yeah mm -hmm. All right, so this is the lemon coconut. I like the bits of coconut. I, I like it. It's making it, it's making the texture for Ooh, me. That smells good. So let me show you the inside. Ooh. It smells good, right? Here. Ooh, it smells like lemon Oreos. Did I do this already? Yeah, <laughs> you did it two times. <laughs> You're like, ooh, look, ooh. It is. I wish you had smell a vision. Do you smell the, if you guys, the lemon? If you guys ever had lemon Oreos, that's exactly what this smells like. Mmm. The lemon is strong with this one. Oh, that's, yeah, oh. Not my favorite. Mmm. Now, if you like lemon, like that you gotta like it a lot they put the zest in there yeah so it's very strong but it's not bad mm -mm. and listen if i don't like something i will tell you guys because i've done it before and that company never reached out to me again <laughs> <laughs> for real oh yeah somebody sent me some chips one time i think it was like two years ago this was before corona and i did not like, you posted that, that? Yes, I did post it. Because I'm honest. I'm honest with my reviews. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break again. Clean my palette. And I'm going to try the, what is it? Mocha. Collagen latte. Yes, that. So I'm going to make a nice coffee. See you soon. I'm back, everyone. I went and made me some of this coffee. So this is a mocha collagen latte. And it has protein. I mean, it is protein coffee. It is dairy-free. It's They use grass-fed collagen peptides. It's organic coffee, and it has two shots of organic espresso. Ooh. No GMOs, no lactose, no bloating. Enjoy hot or cold. So I decided to do cold since I had a hot coffee this morning. And it's a high-protein coffee, okay? How many carbs, Sonia? Let's see. Three total, two grams of dietary um, fiber. So if you do the net carbs, that would be one net gram, one gram net carbs. <laughs> and then 0.25 grams of fat. So, and 20 grams of protein. So very good. Non-GMO, like I said, gluten-free, keto-friendly, ethically sourced. Hmm. Dairy free, soy free. All right, and less than one. I'm sorry, less than 0.1 grams of sugar. So what I put in here is coconut milk, two scoops, and ice, and I blended it together. Now I started by just mixing it. What happened? Why are you laughing at me? Nothing. <laughs> I started by mixing it with a fork in a cup. Oh, let me pour it out. Hold on. I started by mixing it with a fork and it didn't mix very well, just being honest. It was clumpy and usually my experience with these is that if it's hot liquid, so if you warm up the milk, whatever milk you use, almond milk, cashew, I don't know what you use, I prefer coconut milk or almond milk, but I blended it in my little personal Ooh. blender. And it made me an iced latte, okay? So 
This is mocha, which is my favorite. They didn't know that, but it did. <laughs> so I'm going to try it now. And I'll shut up. I didn't put any sugar. So just the coconut milk and two scoops of that at night. Nice. It's it. naked. That is, I did that popping thing. <laughs> it is good. It is really good. I'm it looks wondering. nice. It has a little bit of an aftertaste, but I think it's because um, of the espresso. Mm. It's like really strong coffee. That'll wake you up, man. Oh, you could try it. I just want to smell it. Oh, that smells good. Ooh. Let me show you what it looks like in here. <clears throat> Like a fine powder. It smells really good. Did it come with the cup? Yeah, they do. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so. You've heard it from the Keto with Lee channel. My favorite. These two are my favorites. <laughs> these one, two, three, four are my favorite. All of those. So make sure to get your 10% off. Check out the description below for the code. Share with everyone you know, at least five people, please. Subscribe to my channel, give me a like, comment below, it helps with the algorithms. <laughs> Thank you all, have a great one, see you soon.